Okay, without the benefit of the manual, uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to decode this card uh, that is under the lid here for the cam stack. So, uh, otherwise we're ready to test stitches, so uh, let's see how this goes. All right. Uh, time to stitch test with this machine. So the table in the door here, in the very top, it says straight stitching AK-3. So I assume that means setting dial A and then setting the back dial to K and then three for the center needle position here. Uh, put our needle back in. And then this machine has a handy uh, thread guide in it. Um, I found the bobbins. I think this is class 66, but I don't know. Uh, I'd have to look that up. Um, but they're shorter than a class 15 and have a curved top and bottom it appears. So um, now we'll close that lid, set the thread on top, and it goes through this top guide. around the um, tension guide and again uh, this has the same style of uh, tension finger as a lot of Kenmore's do where the you have to make sure and get the thread wrapped up around this finger here. And then it goes through the take-up arm, which this machine is old enough that it's got a hole in the take-up arm instead of a big long take-up arm with a slot on the top. And then through that guide, through this guide, through that guide. Finally, through the needle, and now we can close that now that we've used our thread guide, and we'll just uh, run the machine around to get the bobbin thread up. Um, yeah. All right, so the bobbin thread Let's try this again. that is where it needs to go. All right, well, let's see what happens when we go stitching. I don't, you know, have a lot of, 
uh, top loading. Oh, and there it popped that thread out again. Okay. So if you don't get the lower thread to hook into the tension. properly then it will pop out and just uh, keep making loose th uh, stitches Try that now. It's supposed to be ready for straight stitch. Get our right. Oh, set the feed for something. I'm going to set it zero feet. again. Switched the camera to autofocus. I realized I had it on manual focus and had focused it on the needle there. Now, here's the bottom side. Looks like we're set pretty good here. Alright, let's. Check our straight stitching and then primary patterns are B and L. So let's set our notches to B and L for a zigzag it looks like and it says that the red lever controls width so I assume 5 is maximum width there so let's see if we oh uh, not used to having a big lever there to control my direction used to the spring-loaded reverse knob of other machines, so. There we go. Top tension is a bit high for this zigzag, but zigzag looks pretty good. What do we got for other options here? 
BQ Why am I not getting it to set it Q? There. Getting it to set it Q uh, is supposed to be a stretch stitch zigzag. So we'll just Stitches is that across? Huh, that's a uh, interesting. That is a four stitch stretch zigzag, unlike the three stitch that is on most other machines. So that's Yeah. Yeah, that's four stitches across instead of three. That is a much finer stretch stitch. Well, uh, it looks like everything is working fine here. Uh, Let's see, I've got a cam in here, so let's see what, just, uh, it thinks, Says H and L makes a alternating zigzag from left to right. stitches in this machine and I don't think I've even gotten the cams to go yet I have to look up the manual for this so that whoever I uh, pass this machine on to I can give the manual to so they can access all the stitches if they want them so all right uh, one last thing is turn the hand wheel clutch there yep spins freely and then let's uh, See about winding a bobbin here. Now, uh, that's right. It's a singer, so you move the thread, uh, and it's supposed to come off I believe the front side of the spool like this. And then it goes under that, and then and put the 
That tail is a bit long, but... And I got a little bit... And this is filling to the wrong side there, so I think... If you take you can slide this tension over and it will fill the bobbin more evenly so I have to Oh, look, I stopped just as that bobbin was getting empty, so there we go. Let's try filling this bobbin. There, that bobbin is filling evenly now. Cool. So just needed to move the bobbin fill tension over to get it to fill evenly across the bobbin. So, excellent. I think this machine is in working, good working condition. So all I need to do now is go look at the cabinet and make sure the cabinet's uh, in good shape.